All right, so uh, we're working on the um, on the uh, x-axis right now. So uh, I'm making a jig for drilling the holes on that will be supporting the the column. So the plastic, um, the plastic piece, the black plastic piece, is a jig to drill for making the jig. So it's a jig for a jig. Uh, using the jig that was made, um, it's easy to uh, attach with a pair of pliers and drill the actual holes. Those are the top holes which will be holding the rods. We use the same jig, but later we'll find out that the rods weren't separated enough. Uh, using a jig to drill all the holes ensures that all the holes will be very uh, very well made. This is actually making the holes on the base that we've made last week. So now this is the mate of the columns or the base of the columns. So the columns have to be re-drilled with a bigger hole now, just so I could put my screw in. And we'll also need some countersinks because the screws are a bit small.
Okay, so time for tapping the, sh the holes for the inserting the columns. So that's easily done with a drill. Aluminum taps really well. I need to put a little grease on it. A little tapping. A little tapping grease, and that's it. So now we're ready to uh, start screwing, uh, screwing the um, the columns on the base. And well, this is done in fast time because, well, it's really boring to see somebody screw. <laughs> So uh, here's a picture of the screws and the um, uh, machine with the both columns. And this is a well my inventory of rods that I've acquired from pr old printers. I have quite a few. I also have several motors. So time to measure the rods and. Um, and we'll cut them on the lathe uh, just to make sure they're exactly the right length. So on the lathe, uh, we I first score the uh, the rod because I don't have a, an end cut, and uh, then I cut with the sawzall having a bimetal blade. That works pretty well. I could also use a zip cut. All I need to do now is just finish the end uh, to uh, get to exactly my line. So the first cut was a pre-cut if you want. So both rods are measured for length, and since they passed the test, um, we uh, can proceed and I can drill a pilot hole for uh, making the taps at the end of each rod. So those are the real holes for making the taps 
at the end of each rod and this will I need to do this for all four holes So now I'm typing all four holes uh, at the end of each rod and I'll be able to mount that on the columns. Yeah, I guess everything was well measured because everything fits nicely. All I need to do is just um, insert the four, or the two rods with uh, four screws. So from my selection of bushings I am able to find four bushings that fit my 10 millimeter rods. These bushings are from old printers and so are, so are the rods. This project has been a 10 to 12 hour uh, job so uh, the x-axis um, will is complete. Um, please subscribe and watch my other videos as I try to finish this project. Should be able to finish it in a couple of weeks.